Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new and you've never been here, the purpose of this channel is I'm here to show you and reveal to you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the main differences between an apostolic and a Christian. So this is something that interests you. Continue watching. All right, now I've likely said this word apostolic so many times in plenty of my other videos, and I'm sure there are a handful of you that have probably never heard that or always have been curious what that exactly means. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining our three main core beliefs and what we believe and how it differs just a little bit from other Christian beliefs and churches that you're probably familiar with. Now, first and foremost, I do want to lay out the similarities. We are, in fact, Christians just like yourself. We believe in the Holy Bible. We believe in the Old and the New Testament. We believe Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, who lived, preached, and eventually died on the cross on Calvary and eventually rose up three days later from the grave and was received up in glory. And the first thing that really differs in what we believe versus what your church and belief system may believe is that we believe in one God. We completely and totally reject the triune philosophy of God, that God is divided into three, that there is a Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and each has a triune part of the Godhead, we completely and totally reject that. We, in fact, believe that the God in the Old Testament was, in fact, Jesus. We believe that God, when he came down and was called Emmanuel, which means God with us, was, in fact, the Son of God, and that happens to be Jesus. We also, in fact, believe that the Holy Spirit that now works in the church today is Jesus. Now, if you're curious as to why we believe that there is just one God and that one God is Jesus, I suggest that you watch this video above right here that explains the one God concept and all the biblical scriptures to back it up. Secondly, we also believe in the infilling and the born again experience of the Holy Spirit as shown in Acts 2-4 when it fell down and descended on the 120 in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. Now again, what differs a little bit in what we believe versus what you might believe is we do believe that the born again experience and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost is required to be saved as shown in this short dialogue presented in the Gospel of John in chapter three, which goes like this. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. How can an old man go back into his mother's womb when he is born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Key word right there is the word and and of water and the Spirit. We do believe that being baptized and born again of water in Jesus' name and being baptized again by the infilling of the Holy Ghost are two events that need to happen to truly enter the kingdom of God. And finally, the last difference between an apostolic and a Christian is we do believe there does need to be a change of lifestyle. We believe that when you are born again by of water and of the Spirit, that is truly where your life begins in Christ. Now, where we differ again from many other churches in the Christian faith is we are very hard and we have a very low tolerance for sin in our lives. We don't believe sin has a place in our lives to serve God. Now, what do I mean by this? I'm meaning that when you were living in your sinful ways before you knew Christ, he was exercising his grace upon you. Remember, God is love and a consuming fire. If there's one thing God hates, he hates sin. And so rather than showing his wrath upon you while you were living in sin, when you found out that sin was in fact trapping you to this world and that there was a way out, there was freedom, that's when grace was truly shown to you of how God has been so merciful to you. 
Now, when you come to Him, you have a second chance to change, to have a complete, repented way of thinking and way of doing things in your life. All those sinful habits that you did and sins you chose to commit, uh, those need to be gone away. Those need to be done with because God doesn't like that He was graceful upon you while you were living in sin. And then when you found Him, you chose to go back into your sinful ways. Now, we believe that you can't accomplish this on your own strength. That's why you need to rely on God even more so He can start changing you truly from the inside out. All you simply got to do is ask Him for help, and I promise you, He will deliver it. Now, if you're not entirely sure what sin is, I suggest you read these five verses, and I'll have them down below. And I want you to read in depth to them, and it's going to open up your eyes to what sin is and the consequences of that. That is Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, Galatians 5.19-21, 1 Corinthians 5.11 and 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. So while we do believe it's impossible to not sin while still being human, we do believe that you need to progressively get better and move away from the sin of this world and move towards more holy works that is produced inside living a godly lifestyle. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this short video here. I know you've got other videos you want to watch in your playlist, so I'm going to let you go do that. But first and foremost, before I let you go, I just want to say make sure you like this video. Comment down below if you're an apostolic, if you've ever met an apostolic, what was your experience like? And then finally, comment down below on what you took away from this video. And until next time, keep fearing God and marching towards the grand prize. My name's Brother Mario. Peace.